Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we will explore how tree rings can tell us about climate, especially how it changes over time. So here I have the tree ring samples that you can get from the activity package, or it's also linked below the package. And what we're going to do is that we're going to cut these strips so that they are just individual strips one by one. There will be four in total and then we will see if we can piece them up. Now here are our four samples and now what we can do is trying to align the patterns that are about the same. So for example, we see that these three chunks are quite close together so and they seem pretty identical to that so we can just align them here and check if the rest looks the same yes yes that these two fit well so actually these chunks represent years one chunk is one year when we see a really wide chunk like this it means that there was a lot of rainfall that year and the trees could grow a lot compared to some other years that lack water the thicker the chunk is, the more water there was that year, and the better the growth the tree is that year. Now, sample 4 also has a really big chunk, and this really helps us to align 3 and 4 together as well. Now, lastly, sample 1. Now, this, you can probably see where it's going, right? We just put it on top of sample 2. Now, what we can find is, since here is a key, that says the pith, which is the core of the tree, is gray, and the bark, which is the skin of the tree, is black. So what we can see is that, let me just use a pen to help me out. If this is 1993, then we can go 1992, 91, 90, 1989, and so on. Right now, you can try to pause the video and see the life length of each tree and when you're done keep watching the video to find out more and to check if your answers are correct there we go i'm sure that your curious young minds have taken you a lot less time compared to what i did compared to how much time i used and now what we can see is that for instance sample one was born in 1962 and they passed away in 1993 for sample 2, we can see that it stopped growing in 1990 and it started with in the same year as sample 1. Now for sample 3, we can see 1949 and 1988. It's a very long growing tree. And for sample 4, finally, it started from 1942. Now, let's try to recognize some good years and not so good years for the tree. So we can see that the largest chunk is right here. And since we can calculate which year it was, theoretically, okay, theoretically only, we can go from here, 1949, and then count one by one. So 1950, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 1960, 1961. 1961 was a really good year. What are what about some not so good years? Some very thin strips, where can we see that? We can find them here and there and perhaps here as well, as well as here. Now you can try to find out the years for these. I'm not sure if these are actually accurate, but they do reflect on how we can use the tree ring widths to find out the rainfall for each year as well as how good the climate was on earth if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments and let us know how you did we really want to know what we can help you with so feel free to just drop some things down in the comments and let us know what topics you want us to cover thank you guys very much for watching today's video if you want any more of this practice you can shoot us a message as well we can also be found on instagram and please subscribe to us thank you